This time, we will be learning the Lesson 2 in the Module 1 in Earth Science entitled Subsystems of the Earth. You will learn about the four subsystems of the Earth, namely Atmosphere, Geosphere, Hydrosphere, and Biosphere. You will also discover through this lesson that matter and energy flow in these four subsystems. Planet Earth is home to varied life forms which interact continuously with the non-living components. There are four subsystems that compose the Earth. These include the atmosphere, geosphere, hydrosphere, and biosphere. Each of these systems allow Earth to keep itself in balance. Thus, a change in one system will affect surely the other system. Earth is one of the inner planets in the solar system. According to radiometric dating record, it is said to be 4.56 billion years old. It is the only planet in the solar system to harbor life. Earth is a closed system. This means that if it gets what it wants, it does not return it back. It gets energy from the sun, but returns only some back to space. Biogeochemical cycles drive the Earth's subsystems. It is through these cycles that Earth materials are recycled and replenished. The following are the definitions of the subsystems. First is atmosphere, a set of layers of gases that blankets the planet held by the planet's gravity. It is consisted of 78% nitrogen, 20.95% oxygen, 0.93% argon, and 0.04% water vapor including all other gases. Different layers of the atmosphere includes the troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, and the thermosphere. 2. Hydrosphere. It is the liquid component of the Earth, including oceans, glacial waters, and freshwater bodies that covers 70% of the Earth's surface. 98% of the water on Earth is salt water. 3. The geosphere. It is the solid sphere of the Earth. This is where geologic processes such as volcanism and orogenesis, which is the mountain building, takes place. The lithosphere is the part of the geosphere that is composed of the solid outermost part of the planet. Fourth, the biosphere. This is the living sphere of the Earth. It is the totally of all the ecosystem in the whole planet. It compels us to interact with other living organisms with the influence of the abiotic factors in the system. As a summary, Earth is the only planet in the solar system where life of plants, animals, and even microorganisms is possible. These important features of Earth, which includes distance from the sun, right atmospheric conditions, availability of liquid water, even water vapor, solid ice, influence of the moon, continuous flow of energy, nutrients in the system, strong magnetic field, and a fitting greenhouse effect to warm the planet. There were also four main subsystems of the Earth. First is the atmosphere, which is an envelope of gases protecting the surface of the planet from the ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Next is the hydrosphere, comprise all the bodies of water such as ocean, sea, rivers, lakes, and glaciers. Next is the geosphere. It is the solid portion of the earth which is consist also of the lithosphere, where the crust, mantle, and core are found. Lastly, the biosphere, which is consisting of all life forms or where life really begins. 
these systems interact and of course connected to one another to sustain life in many varied forms. Thank you for listening students. See you on my next video lessons.